soon as Harley rolled out this pretty little redhead, I knew I had to ride it. You see, back in the day, I rode, or more accurately, performed roadside repairs on, a crazy Scandinavian-style hardtail sportster chopper. I'm talking about the terrifyingly nudely 12-inch over Springer variety. My own mannered beast was much more of a 70s-style build rather than the 60s California custom chopper vibe Harley is going for in the new 72, not named for a year like the 48 Sporty was, but rather Highway 72, cruising icon Whittier Boulevard in Southern California. Different beasts, but born of a similar mindset of expression and individualism that spawned its own subculture. Motorcycle tastes change so quickly that manufacturers often have a tough time keeping up with what the kids are doing, or especially what they're going to do. Harley has attempted to address this lag by reducing its entire design to production turnaround time with a new manufacturing plant in Pennsylvania. Read more about it here. In this case, the next big thing is the old-school, skinny tire chopper. HD's designers did a better job narrowing the design focus than they did narrowing the rear end of the actual bike, which rolls on a relatively wide 150-width tire and has a correspondingly wide fender. On a bike all about retro cooly cool design, this is probably the biggest styling mess. The rest, however.